Hi, I'm John. I'm CTO here at Fulcrum. And I'm James. I'm an engineer here and also an adjunct professor of cybersecurity at University of Texas in San Antonio. And today we're going to be answering the top five questions that we frequently get about data and security. So the first question we have is, is my data secure? And more specifically, is the cloud secure? And here at Fulcrum, we do care about security. It's not a secondary concern for us. And there's a few different things that we do look at when it comes to security. Primarily when it comes to your data, we're looking at is your data encrypted at rest? Uh, basically meaning that once we throw that data on our hard drive, is it encrypted? And the other part of that is do we encrypt it in transport? When we send that data to you in your browser, is that data encrypted? And it is. Uh, and how we achieve this is we host our services and Microsoft's Azure cloud platform. Yeah, and one of the reasons that we chose Microsoft Azure is because there are a lot of a lot of other large companies on Microsoft Azure that you've probably heard of. Dow Chemical, Airbus, 3M, Toyota, really just a handful of, of companies um, out of the hundreds that are of large-scale systems that are on Microsoft Azure. I've worked with a few companies in the past who have been nervous about going from an on-prem system to a cloud-based system, either for security concerns or uh, even just kind of data access concerns. And one company that comes into mind was a company based out of New York City that I worked with that had a on-prem system in their data warehouse just in New York City. When Hurricane Sandy hit, it caused a power outage and corrupted a bunch of that data, and they lost about 20 years of, of data in their system. That just wouldn't happen in on a cloud-based system. Right. Uh, and that's the other side of security is that not only is confidentiality of your data important, but also the availability of that data. And with Microsoft's cloud platform, we're able to use several different services to provide that availability to you. Uh, we leverage backups and recovery, uh, tight security controls to make sure that the access to that data is uh, given to those who are authorized, as well as several redundancy and resiliency controls such as load balancing and other services to make sure that, yes, your data is available to you when you need it. So is your data secure and is Fulcrum secure? Yes. Who owns our data and who has access to our data? This is a question that we get a lot. With Fulcrum, you own your data. We don't sell your data to any third parties, and should you ever leave Fulcrum, we will provide an export for you to take with you. As for who has access to it, you primarily control that. We have many different access controls and, and roles within the system that you can define to assign permissions to either grant access or restrict access to whoever you invite into your system. Outside of that, Fulcrum employees may need access from time to time, um, primarily for training or diagnostic purposes. How long do you store data and are there backups? Yeah, we see this with a lot of different manufacturers who are looking to have a data retention policy, whether it's something that's driven internally, such as trying to stay compliant with the ISO 9001 quality, or they have a hard data retention policy of something like 10 years from AS9100. And whatever that is, we are prepared to support that sort of data retention. We do take backups of databases in a hourly, daily, weekly, and even monthly cadence so that there is an issue with data integrity or uh, you've accidentally deleted something, which is you know, certainly a possibility, we are prepared to uh, recover that data for you. Do you support manufacturers who need to be ITAR compliant? Yeah, if, if, you, if you work with any defense contractors, with the DOD, or really in any, any defense manufacturing, you may need to follow the International Traffic and Arms Regulations, or ITAR. We do support ITAR manufacturers. Uh, we, we will host your site in Azure's GovCloud, which is very similar to the public cloud, but with the added benefit of being ITAR and FedRAMP compliant. In addition to that, we make sure to silo the, our, our system to remain in ITAR compliance as well. So things like Google Drive integ integrations or Autodesk's public cloud, we cut off connections to clouds that we don't control that are not ITAR compliant. What about CMMC? For CMMC or the Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification, uh, there are a lot of manufacturers that are starting to see this as a upcoming requirement, especially when it comes to contracts for the Department of Defense. It is a fairly new certification model that kind of mirrors uh, ISO 27001 and NIST 800 series certifications. And when it comes to whether you're doing a level one certification through a self-assessment or you're bringing in an auditor to achieve a level three certification, we're there to provide you with the uh, artifacts, the data, the logs, the 
uh, representation that you've satisfied these controls so that you can either become certified or continue to uh, show that you are still certified. These were the five most common questions that we get around data and security. But if you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or talk to our sales team.